Hello guys! Today's video is going to be a tutorial for breeding because uh, people have a lot of questions about breeding and there's some kind of tips and tricks that I can show you and there's different kinds of breeding and people don't actually know the difference between the different types of breeding. So we're gonna go over that today and uh, yeah. Let's go to the breeding section. Today we're going to be using Dragon Wave and Draggles as a, I guess as the example pets that we're gonna use for breeding. Um, so I wanna talk about all these different buttons. There is the select pets button, which helps you select a pet. Um, if they are grayed out in this section, it usually means they are not the correct fit. Like, for example, this would not fit with this because... I don't know. Because <laughs> they're... I think it's because they're crossbreeding or something? I can't remember. Um, even though crossbreeding is okay now. I, I don't know. It's like... Oh, okay. I see why. Because I'm selecting a female. So I... Uh, males cannot breed, but what you can do to kind of like combat that is there is a potion in the shop that allows you to change the visual gender here. So for example, if I wanted to, if I wanted to have it appear that two males were breeding, I can use that potion to change her visual um, gender or sex or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, you can make it appear as male, even though it was really a female. I- this is really bad, uh, terms. I- I'm not really sure how to- else to put it without, uh, offending anyone. I'm sorry if I- if I have. I- uh, it's hard to explain this specifically. Um, <laughs> I think that all genders should be able to breed however they want, whatever, but, um, yeah. Anyway, you can change it so that it appears male, uh, and then they can breed. But uh, that selects the pets. Uh, it, so when they're grayed out, it's either uh, because you're selecting the opposite gender or it's too young. Uh, and by opposite gender, I mean like uh, it can't be the same gender. The next thing is the friendship meter. Your pets can be out at the same time to fill up that meter. And the higher it is, the more likely that you'll get more babies or your your breeding won't fail. Um, but that has to do with the regular attempt breeding button here. It says chance of success depends on pet's age and compatibility. Also, yeah, that's right. Um, the pet's age, if they are older, it's a lower chance of breeding. I will actually go here really quick. Let me show you. I'm gonna go to Dragon Waves page. Um, you'll see if you click on that, there is a growth chart here and it tells you what each age can do um, and how many days it takes to get to certain ages. Uh, she is a teen right now, which means that she has pretty much all the options here. Um, so she can do jobs, shows. Uh, this section here, you see how it's bright green and then it goes darker green. When they're elders, they can still breed, you see here, but it's darker because the chances of breeding are much much lower when they are elders they still can but but it's a very low chance but between adult and uh teen teen and adult is perfectly fine to breed and there's like a normal chance of breeding succeeding uh yeah anyway <laughs> so let's go back to the screen and select our pets again female male whatever whatever you want to make it just change the visual gender if you want um, so that was the uh, regular breeding. You keep them all in the same room to increase their friendship meter and the closer they are, the more their meter is and the higher it is. So for example, this is full right now because they've been out together a lot. If it's full, there's a much higher chance that they will be able to breed successfully and there's more chance that it'll have up to three babies. And you can only have three babies total for each species. Um, you can also preview what the babies will look like and it'll render them. You can see more details up close and all that. Uh, this will change the age. So this is like when they're fully grown versus babies. Um, and then you can go here and you can change the background color so it's easier to see if you want for previews. I would probably prefer the white background, but that is regular breeding. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a regular uh, attempt breeding. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do pro breeding first and then we're going to do regular breeding because um, there's something that I want to show you guys and it's a little bit of a trick. This only works with pro breeding. It doesn't work with regular breeding. Okay, so pro breeding. I'll, I'll do a guide of pro breeding first. But what I want you to do is pay attention to my gems up here, 16,069. I'm going to do a pro breeding for 25 gems. And also, pro breeding is breed pets with 100% confidence. Infinite free rerolls on baby pets with instant birth. So what happens when you have a pro breeding is they automatically breed. No matter what, you'll get babies out of it. It's not like there's no chance for it to fail. And you can also make the babies look pretty much how you like. You can like re-roll it as much as you want. I'll show you guys in a second, but um, really quick, pay attention to my gems here, 16,069. Let's pro breed, it costs 25. So it went down to 16,044. But let's say I wanted three babies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out here and it gives me back my gems. So what you can do is if you want three babies, you can just keep going into breeding and try pressing the pro breed again until you get three. Let's see if we can do it. No, I don't like that. I want three. Didn't mean to press that. I want three babies. So we're going to keep pro breeding until we get three. No, two. Let's keep doing it again. All right, we got three babies. So this will be fun to play around with. Um, so what you do is this is like this bar here in the middle. If you move it towards more towards uh, one of the parents. I think for this one, I can't remember which way it is, but I think the blue bar, if it's fully blue, it's mostly the mom. And if it's fully red, it's mostly the dad. I believe it might just be opposite. I'm not sure, <laughs> um, but it's it, that's what it does. It prefers the genetics of a parent. Um, this one is also how much uh, a baby can mutate. So sometimes what'll happen is your pets will get like, if they didn't use the same parts, they could have different parts on like, for example, they could use a leg from one body, but not the other. Sometimes they can have one eye from one parent and one eye from the other parent. And sometimes they could lose something, like maybe have only one ear. But if you don't want that, you can just turn down the mutation. If you want, you can fully mutate them. And let's see your reroll see if we can find any mutations. I'm not seeing any, but that's basically what it does. Uh, but I'm gonna turn it all the way down because I don't want a mutation. Uh, but this, in pro breeding, you can reroll as many times as you want, and it does not charge you. You can just reroll until you get like the gender you want. That's usually what I do. And then I'll open a thing. Let's make them adults so we know what they end up looking like. Uh, so let's say we want a female. So then we open this here. And I'm change the background to white so I can see it better and you guys can see it better. And this button here will adjust the sizing or like the portions of the parts. This button here will change the coloring of the parts or the, or the baby. And this button here will change the color of the lines. And then this is the background. Um, you can also press these buttons if you want to just re-roll the ears, the eyes, the mouth, the head, the body, and the tail, respectively. But if I do that with these guys, like they have the same parts, so it won't matter. But you can potentially change the parts to like one of the other parents. For example, uh, let's say, let's say the mom has like these ears, but then the dad has like some random different ears. I could uh, press this and see if it ends up with the dad's ears instead. Um, oh yeah, and this is the amount of detail that is put into the color reroll so this is pretty simple but then if you go like this it gets extremely detailed like lots more spots you'll find that see like for example all these little spots here uh that's how you can usually tell when a, a pet is a gen pet is with all these little spots because most people will turn this all the way up but i actually tend to like it when it's like furthest down because it's less um spotty However, that being said, this being up does bring in the parents' markings more. So we're gonna do that this time, and we're gonna see if we can get like a nice colored dragon. That looks really cool, except I want different line colors, so I'm gonna press this. And I'm not liking the lines that they're giving me, so I'm gonna recolor again until I get something cool again. Let's say that. Actually, it's a bit spotty. 
let's keep re-rolling until we get a cool color combination that we like. This would have looked really cool, but I know that the outlines are never going to be black, so it won't end up looking good. You see, it's always going to be a neon color. If you guys are into that, then cool. I'm just not really a fan. Um, but that's really cool. Let's play around with the outlines a little bit. See if we can get a an outline that'll fit. And remember that all of this is free because you used pro breeding. Oh yeah, this looks cool. So that is a cute little baby. Um, let's do a male for this one. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, it's almost like the mom here. I actually kind of want to keep that. So let's do the usual color changing, the outline colors. I actually want to resize it too because the ears look like they're a little bit further down. So let's do that. I like that this uh, has really cute colors, the outlines are really good too, and the proportions are great. It looks just like the mom except a little bit darker and more, I'd say, um, the contrast is a lot higher. Um, let's do a male for this one, for sure. And let's, so we got a male, let's do randomize the colors, see what we can get. Maybe we'll get something really cool. And uh, this takes time just, just to find the correct colors that you want, something that you're satisfied with. It always takes me a long time just to probate anything because I'm so picky. This looks really cool. Let's change the outlines. I like that. And I like the propor proportions already, so um, I think that's it. I think those are going to be our three babies. And then you promise to take care of them, and as soon as you confirm this, you can't go back and do the trick. So you gotta make sure this is what you're paying 25 gems for. And let's go confirm it. And it'll load, and then you can name them. I'm not gonna name them right now. I might end up selling these guys. You can check out my shop to see if I sell them. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are the babies, and then obviously they grow as normal. But they're bred and they're born automatically if they're pro-bred. So I'm gonna put those away. And then we're gonna do a regular breeding. So let's go back here. There's these guys. Okay, so we got them selected. We're gonna do a regular breeding and we'll see what happens. It's totally random. So we might get some really weird looking babies or we might get really cool looking babies. We might only get one baby, you never know. But you can't do the thing where you go back. It will not give you your money back. So I just wanna give you guys a heads up with that. Uh, let's go. They gave us two babies, and with regular breeding, it costs you coins every time you go to randomize it. Now let's make it so they're adults. They actually look really cool, and as you can see, this one actually got the dad's eye and the mom's eye. So that's a form of mutation. I actually really like how these two turned out. I think they're really cute, for real. <laughs> So I don't really want to change them. They're both little cutie females. Um, if you want to change the sizing, it costs 20 coins to change the proportions. And then 100 for changing the color. And it, you can't change the lines separately either with this version. So yeah, that's regular breeding. And then we'll confirm it. And then what'll happen is you'll see this big heart. It says Dragon Wave and Draggles are expecting a new hammy, a baby hamster, in a few days. Take good care of them. And then you press OK. And then what you do is you see that this little girl is pregnant. And you can go to her page here and it'll tell you how long is left until they give birth. Or you can press the button and you can instantly get the babies for 50, which is what I'm going to do. And you'll see this little thing appear. And then you'll have the two babies. How cute is that? And I also really want to quickly mention that through breeding, you could potentially get shinies and you could get dragon eggs. Any type of breeding at all, like any of the types of breeding, it doesn't have to be breeding between dragons only. Any breeding whatsoever has a chance to get a dragon egg. The more you breed, the higher the chance that you'll get a dragon egg. So let's say you breed like 60 times. I don't know what the chances actually are, but let's, for example, say you bred 60 times and you still haven't gotten a dragon egg. You're that much closer to getting one because you failed that many times. You could get one instantly in one shot, but it's a very, very low chance. I think it is slightly more it's either slightly more common or slightly more rare than shinies. So that gives you kind of like an idea of 
how rare it is to get a dragon egg from breeding, um, but it is possible and it is very rare. So any type of breeding, you get a dragon egg and it's a random dragon egg. I hope that that is it for breeding. I believe it is. That's all the breeding stuff that I can tell you and teach you. That's how you breed in pixel pets. Uh, the difference between pro breeding and regular breeding and uh, the different things that you can do with it. Also the, the little trick with the gems for pro breeding. Uh, <laughs> I hope that this video was helpful and if you like this video leave a like, comment, and subscribe and let me know if this helped you. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!